The island state of Malta is located in the Mediterranean Sea, consisting of three islands, Malta, Gozo and Camino, Malta being the largest. Valletta, the capital, was originally built by the Order of St. John with its old world splendour and Baroque architecture, which today stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was also one of the first cities in Europe to use the grid system. There are so many interesting and historical places to see in the city. This is St. John's Co-Cathedral, built around 1574 and houses two of Caravaggio's paintings. Another interesting place to visit is the ancient church of St. Paul's Shipwreck, which features the treasured relic of the right wrist bone of St. Paul in a gilded cask. Also displayed is the pillar, part of the original column on which St. Paul was beheaded in Rome and which was donated by the Pope in 1818. The Upper Baraka Gardens offers fantastic views over to the three cities and across one of the world's largest and deepest natural harbours, the Grand Harbour. If you visit at noon, you can witness an age-old tradition of the firing of the cannon, which takes place each day. This area is also a ceremonial platform for artillery salutes. Around 8 kilometres from Valletta is Emdina, which used to be the capital of Malta. This is the Cathedral of St Paul, which lies in the very heart of this walled city. Imdina is the oldest city on the island, going back to prehistoric times and a must-see for any visit to Malta. Being just a short hop away by ferry or seaplane, Gozo is Malta's little sister, making an ideal day out or a longer stay on the island. Known as the Island of Joy, there are vineyards, temples older than the pyramids and quaint, peaceful Gossetan villages which define the character of the island. Malta is an ideal wedding and honeymoon destination too, whether it's a civil or church wedding, a vow, renewal or a blessing. With its all year round sunny climate, historical backdrop and culture, there are a host of venues for the occasion. The Phoenicia Hotel is one such example, positioned opposite the entrance to the city of Valletta, offering seven acres of landscape gardens and overlooked by the 16th century bastions and harbour views. The, the Phoenicia was the first um, luxury hotel to be opened on the island, uh, officially opened in 1947. Um, uh, it was owned by the Strickland family and they actually managed that, uh, the, the hotel for uh, a number of years until 1966. Uh, being the, the, the only you know, real five-star hotel on the island at the time, dignitaries were visiting to see how Malta was faring and whatever. And after that, obviously, it was more on uh, you know, the film industry, for example, with uh, a number of actors at the time, like Roger Moore and uh, you know, Omar Sharif, staying at the hotel while, while filming on the island. Um, it's also quite unique in terms of location. If you see the, the, the hotel, is actually at the city gate of Valletta. And Valletta is, is, is a unique city. It's small, but it's all walled, um, built by, bastion walls built by the Knights of St. John in the 17th century. So it's, it's quite unique, you know, within five minutes walk, you're, you're basically into, you know, one of the, the European heritage sites, you know, which is Valletta. Well, Malta is a unique destination in itself. However, uh, being such a small island, barely 25 kilometers from top to bottom, it can be covered in a short holiday. And there's so many interesting sites to visit. Uh, let's take, for example, the dramatic coastline up to the west side of the island with sheer cliff faces, uh, beautiful scenery, unexplored caves and coves. And also you can enjoy the, the sunset from over there as well as well six o'clock in the evening, beautiful place. Um, let's not forget the historical aspect of the island. Yeah, I mean, the, our history goes back to thousands and thousands of years. Uh, the three main cities to visit historically would be the medieval city of uh, Indina, 
uh, which used to be a, a Roman settlement 2,000 years ago, later on taken by the Arabs. And nowadays uh, a major tourist attraction visited by thousands of people um, on a daily basis. This quaint medieval alleyways, 15th, 16th century palaces, and um, some great views over the east coast of the island as well, yeah? And let's not forget the capital city, Valletta. Valletta is, uh, takes you back to the era of the Knights of the Order of St. John, with some impressive uh, palaces which used to be the accommodation of the Knights of St. John themselves, overlooking the Grand Harbour, one of the um, largest natural harbours in the Mediterranean.